Welcome, my friends. I'm Mark Bird. I'm with the Commonwealth of Israel Two House with my good friend Ovadia Avrahami and Kolhator.com. As we continue our conversation, Ovadia, mm -hmm. the question may arise, and it probably has, is that with the return of the Northern Kingdom becoming together of Ezekiel 37, where the two sticks are brought together, Hashem will make them one, develops the one kingdom, the kingdom of Israel. With that kingdom coming back together, do you foresee Christianity, the Christians coming out of Christianity, called out, returning back to the one true God? And in that process then, is there a part that may require conversion to Judaism? Mark, you're now touching the rattlesnake <laughs> in this whole restoration process, the climax of the ages that Hashem will bring the exiles back, the exiled 12 tribes back. He's already brought back the house of Judah, two tribes, and outstanding now uh, the biggest miracle of the lot, the second exodus which the Bible talks about uh, in that day they will no longer talk about Hashem who brought Israel out of Egypt but Hashem who brought Israel from the four corners of the earth mm -hmm. the twelve tribes, so he's already brought the two and is busy bringing the two tribes and yes this whole uh, amazing event that we've been discussing of people waking up all over the world to the Torah we see as the promise, the fulfillment of his promise to wake up, to, uh, to, to reawaken Ezekiel 37's skeleton of dead bones coming to life. Mm -hmm. This is really the ten tribes, twelve tribes coming alive, joining each other, becoming one, as Ezekiel 37 then explains. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Sorry, we just got to cut there. Okay. Our uh, our topic is that we uh, do they have to become Judah? Um, okay, carry on from here. So we're facing this question: Do these ten tribes, wherever they are now, coming out of other religions, Egypt, Egyptian religions, do they have to become Jews? Do they have to convert? Mm -hmm. And I think for that we've just got to get back to before the exile, what was the situation? It was ten tribes living in this very area that you and I are sitting here today, Shamron, where the ten tribes, the ten kingdom, the northern ten tribe kingdom, mm -hmm. where their city and their temple and their whole setup was 10, 20 kilometers from here. Um, they rebelled against the official uh, lawgiver status of Judah in the south in Jerusalem down there, 90 kilometers away in those years, and they decided to do it their way, and God exiled them, divorced them, kicked them out. Now, if he brings them back, which is oath, the question is bring them back to what? Right. Bring them back to the religion of their forefathers, which didn't like the Jewish religion, <laughs> made their own uh, religion, but still kept Torah, um, made the seventh month feast into the eighth month. It's like they made the seventh day Shabbat into the eighth day, the first mm -hmm. day of the week. Right. All these things originated Yeah. So when he brings them back, how, to what, where must they come back to? Surely to the original, like David. Just before the kingdom split, David united this divided twelve tribes and made one nation in what? In the Torah. Mm -hmm. Hashem's blue-eyed boy, he kept the Torah. <laughs> uh, he managed to get the nation to keep it, but that's where it ended. From Solomon's time it started going wrong again. Mm -hmm. So do we have to convert? People say, I, uh, from, we have problems here, incidentally, from both sides, from the Jewish side, who don't really like all these strangers, which is a risk to them to come and take them out of the Torah. They protected the Torah for 3,500 years. 
they don't like it and the ten triber, the reawakening Ephraim don't like it because they say I must become a Jew, I'm not from Judah, I'm from the tribe of Gad, Naphtali, uh, I'm Ephraim, why must I become a Jew? As we see it, you don't become a Jew, you don't become the tribe of Judah, you re-identify with the system of Hashem, with the religion of Hashem, which he mandated Judah to be the lawgivers and the, 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 the protectors of, which they did through 3,500 years, good or bad, perfect or unperfect, they kept the Torah, and that is why we have a Torah today that we can go back to, and they are the teachers. So for that reason, and then it comes with the ultimate thing, we don't say convert. People blame us from both sides. You say we must convert. We don't say convert. Hashem wants you back in the land. Mm -hmm. Only Jews can live in this land. Mm -hmm. So by becoming a Jew, you get the, 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 the right to live in the land. Mm -hmm. But a right, not just there are millions from certain nations around us here, because Israel is a very advanced land, they would like to have all our benefits and our medical aids and our pensions and systems, they would come here. It's not for people like that, mm -hmm. it's for people who want to keep the Torah. Mm -hmm. People who want to identify to be the light of the Torah to the world, which is the final uh, redemption. That is the purpose of Hashem, to make one, to be a light of the Torah. You can only be a light of the Torah if you keep it yourself. Mm -hmm. And which way, which Torah, the way the ten tribes kept it? No. Yeah. Then you get divorced, the land spews you out, which it did. Mm -hmm. 2,700 years later, he only brings them back to what? To the Torah, the Torah. please. <laughs> so for that reason, yes, those who want to identify and become part of Hashem's nation, this is the homeland. It's a place to come back to as a Jew. Yeah, thank you. And what I see for myself is that this return is to return to the one true God, the creator of heaven and earth, from the very beginning of Scripture all the way till the end of all the prophecies being fulfilled. That's a perfect spot on. That is the whole secret. And it's really very elementary. If you come, I think it's so elementary that the wise cannot understand it. <laughs> Thank you so much for your input. Bless you. It was wonderful. Please join us again. We will have all the websites online here available for you shortly. And until we talk, shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Thank you. Thank you.